Hello, it's Kyle Fazari from Canonical. We've made some more progress on Ubuntu Core as well as the Snappy Scope, so I'm here to show you a bit of both. First, let me give you a brief background. Ubuntu Core is a tiny Ubuntu distribution that targets the Internet of Things. One of the things it targets is a Raspberry Pi 2, like this orange matchbox I have here. Support for I2C and GPIO was recently added to the Raspberry Pi image, so you'll notice I have a Pi Glow on there to take advantage of that. Now, the Internet of Things typically consists of headless devices. Because of that, package management in Ubuntu Core is typically done using something called WebDM, which serves up a web-based dashboard that can be used for remote package management. This is WebDM running on the orange matchbox. Now this initial page shows only installed snaps, but if I go to the store, you'll see the available ones. I'm going to go down to the XKCD web server snap, and I'm going to install it. What this snap does is host a web server that simply serves up a random XKCD comic, as you see here. Now I'm going to uninstall it. And you'll see that it's no longer running. The WebDM dashboard works perfectly for Ubuntu Core, but what about Ubuntu Personal or Ubuntu Mobile, where the user will actually be local using a desktop or a phone? Rather than have the user open a browser to install local packages, it makes more sense to integrate with Unity 8. We chose to do that with the scope. So Ubuntu Personal is still a work in progress. Specifically, it's lacking video support for the Raspberry Pi 2, so I can't run it on real hardware. Instead, I have Ubuntu Core running on the Matchbox and the scope running on the phone, remotely managing packages on the Matchbox. I hope this gives you an idea of what the end product would look like. So, how is this working? Since we're not running local on Ubuntu Core, we utilize the same WebDM API as the web-based dashboard for the package management tasks. Similar to WebDM, the scope has the ability to only show installed snaps or all available snaps. Now I'd like to take advantage of the hardware on the Raspberry Pi 2, so I'm going to install an application called PyGlow Top that will utilize the PyGlow via I2C. It's a very simple CPU utilization monitor that will light the Pi Glow lights out from the center corresponding to CPU usage. Regarding the preview you see here, we tried to follow the original store design as much as possible, even though WebDM doesn't give us much information to show right now. We're currently working on getting screenshots, reviews, and so on. So the Snap installed OK, but Snappy currently lacks the ability to automatically provision hardware for regular Snaps, so we have to do it ourselves before this Snap will begin working. Now this snap has access to the hardware it needs, so it should be working. Let's make the device work a little to prove it. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the XKCD snap here. You can see the lights lighting up as it works. And I'm going to install it. So if we go back to the browser I already have pointed at the device from earlier and refresh, you can see that it's installed and working. We can use the scope again to uninstall this. Now, well, let me fix my focus. Uninstall. and you can see that it's no longer running. That's all I've got to show today. I hope that gave you an idea of where things stand with Ubuntu Core in the Snappy Scope, and I hope you have a great day.